All right, guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's Mark here with Red Star Loft. We're gonna try doing a video today. We'll see how it goes. Got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on in one day, so... Anyway, it is 10, 29 in the morning. Birds are expected sometime around 11. They have a little bit of a tailwind that should be a help, but yeah, they're doing 200 miles today. And, uh, you know, roughly speaking, sometime around 11, they should start showing up. It's a really nice day today. Like I said, a little bit of a wind, but beautiful clear skies. Sun's nice and bright. I think it's about low 70s, so really, really good weather take a peek in here but for the first time this season I've held back a bird and it was my big silver right there if you look at my last video he wasn't in it because he didn't return from the 150 mile race that really rough one that they had last week where they went through massive amounts of fog and still made it home he was the only one that didn't come back he came back on Wednesday and uh, he was uh, skinny and not looking in the best shape, so I held him back for the 200. He's going to go next weekend for the 350 for the final race of the season. But yeah, as far as that 150-mile uh, race, we got uh, the first two birds that returned were places 11 and 12, so which is better than I thought because, uh, yeah, I expected them around 10 a.m. They clocked at 102. I had no idea, you know, how anybody did. Everybody's birds were late, so, you know, it's... Still 11, 12, that's perfectly okay, I guess. I was just happy I got them all because the fog that they flew through was apparently insane. So, yeah, he should be perfectly fine to, uh, perfectly fine to fly and race next weekend. So, letting them eat and hydrate and, uh, that's about that. Uh, like I said, I'm waiting for the arrivals, I'm going to pop a squat, grab a seat over here in the shade, grab my can and just sit and wait. I'll have some company today, so it should be an interesting morning. And like I said, I'm expecting and hoping that within the next 30 minutes, birds start showing up. Maybe even a little bit sooner, but you never know. I expected them at 10 o'clock last, uh, last weekend and they showed up at 11, so... I don't want to say too much too soon, we'll just uh, hang out and wait, and I'll be back with you guys when the, when we get a few birds in here. Until then, I'm just going to enjoy the nice day, so I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Alright guys, this is actually my second one. Come on. There you go. And look who's first, this grizzle, clocked about a minute or two ago, two minutes ago probably by now, and uh, yeah, came by himself, she just came a couple minutes behind him, so I wasn't able to get a video of him, <clears throat> there was a lot of commotion going on, but yeah, there they are, the dark grizzle actually showed up first. Really happy to see that because, as you guys know, he has been uh, one of my favorites throughout this whole this whole year. He suffered an injury; he was split open by a hawk and healed him up. And uh, yeah, there we have it. So I'm gonna go outside and wait for a couple more. Another one of the reds, one of uh, Jim Moore's birds, 
and I still have one on the roof. But this is uh, maybe three minutes after I stopped the last video, so I'll show you guys the times later. They're really coming in now, so I'm gonna go and try and get this last one in. So I spoke too soon. The one that's here on the loft is not one of my birds. He is somebody else's, so I was wondering why he's not coming inside, but I don't know if you guys can see him because he's in the shade, but I definitely don't have a, a blue bar with those types of markings on the head. So it's somebody else's bird. He's, he's hanging out there, so maybe he can serve as a dropper for a few more of mine that come in hopefully soon. But let me take a look at how many I've got so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them are here, which is solid. They're all within about a five, six minute window, so get back out there. Yeah, they're coming in waves now. I apologize if this is annoying, but this is how it goes. They've been scanned in. This red is notorious for not going in on time, so I'm not even going to sweat it. You can see them. They're looking good. They don't look beat up. They don't look overly exhausted. All in all, it seems decent, so I'm going to head back out there and probably be back with you guys later on to uh, wrap up the video for the day. We've had some more coming in the meantime. Come on. There we go. All right, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen, so still missing six more birds, which is phenomenal given what time it is, so. I'll go keep an eye on them, but all in all, I think this is uh, very well done so far. Just so you know, I gotta make some calls and see how he did compared to the other lofts. Everything else will be easier to tell from that point on, so I'll probably have an update for you at the end of the video, guys. Alright guys, let's uh, wrap up the video here. It is, come on focus, 1.12 p.m. So still not that late, still early in the day, sorry about that. Still early in the day, 1.12, <clears throat> and out of the 20 birds that I've sent, I've got 18 back. Let's take a look at the list. Oh, you can see 11.24 on a dot was the first one. And then we got 1127, 11.30, 11.30, 11.30, 11.30, 11.33, 4.6, 7, so on and so forth. The last two just made it back at 108. So 18 back, still waiting on two birds. I know what one of the two birds is, and I'm not worried about that one. He always comes late or next day. I'm not even really expecting him. But there we have them. They're all nice and calm. A couple of them look a little tired. She's a little drowsy looking. He's a little drowsy looking. He's always drowsy looking. But all in all, look at him napping down there. All in all, I feel like they do look very good. Still haven't had any of them. Yeah, you didn't race, you don't care. 
didn't have any of them that were panting, didn't have any saggy wings, so they didn't look too beat up whatsoever. I don't know exactly how well we did. I know I beat, I beat out a couple people in the club from what I've gauged. And I uh, don't know exactly how Jim did yet, but I should find out by the end of the day. Either way, I think the race went uh, really well. And I think the results were... They were good. Again, I still don't know how a couple of good flyers did. So it's up in the air, but I'm happy with them. I'm happy with them, especially considering the wind. They were supposed to have tailwind from what I read, but then when I went online and I actually looked at the wind, it, to me it looked like they had headwind because that wind was blowing from east to west and the birds were pl flying from south to north, so it definitely wasn't a benefit to them. But, yeah. Got almost all of them back, so the 300 mile race will have about 20 birds in it. 20 ones the most I, I could have if they all make it back. But all in all, I'm happy with these guys. I'm happy with how, they, how they're doing and what they've done for me. So in my eyes, they're kicking butt. And uh, all, the, all the effort this year was worth it. He is the biggest surprise of the season. Not that he's the biggest surprise. I'm just really happy that he came in first. He's one of my first favorites of the year. So I'm really happy to see him... Uh, to see him come as uh, my first bird in the 200 miles, so that's more or less what I've got for you guys. I'm gonna let the birds rest. I'm gonna go rest a little and then uh, I'll be back with you guys. We'll see at some point during the week for sure. Until then, as always, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. And I will catch up with you a little bit later in the week. Have a good one.